Today's sponsor is Audible.com, who has more than 180,000 audiobooks and spoken word audio products. Get a free audiobook of your choice at www.audibletrial.com slash Trending Topics with BB. Hello and welcome to another rousing edition of Trending Topics with BB. I am your humble host, Brooke Brown, hence the BB. I want to thank you for tuning into this podcast. Uh, you may have seen some posts recently about my frustration about certain people not showing up for the podcast, but uh, it'll iron itself out. Times are tough in terms of we're in the holiday season. People got to work. People got to do things. I understand. Anywho, uh, before I move on to what this podcast is about, I want to definitely remind you to log on to bbmediaindustries.com which will reroute you to the Facebook page of BB Media Industries LLC. Click a like and then you'll see probably reshares uh, from the page that is connected to this podcast, facebook.com forward slash trending topics with BB. Please like the page and if you have any other seconds to spare, Please check out the Instagram, TTW, or actually it's TT with BB. Jeez, you'd think I know my own handle. Um, that's both Instagram and Twitter. Uh, please follow. Um, and be one more thing of housekeeping to do is if you are listening to this podcast via iTunes, please leave a rating preferably of the four- and five-star variety, and a comment. That would be much appreciated uh, for such a thing. And if you're over on the Android side of things and listening to this on Stitcher, TuneIn, or any other platform where podcasts are found, please leave a rating. It helps this podcast be found by other listeners. And perhaps I can continue to do this and talk to many recorders uh, or uh, equipment as I have in the past. So enough about that bullshit. Let's move on to really what this podcast is about. This podcast is about one thing that I need to get on my soapbox about. I have recently run into a pickle, a pickle of such shorts in terms of... How do I put this? Automated phone systems they really grind my fucking gears okay so long story short let me just tell you a quick story that happened so I ordered something from Amazon the other day I get the email saying it was shipped then I get the email saying it was here and by golly it's neither in my mailbox or out in front of my uh, door meaning that either somebody stole it or it was never actually brought to me in the first place by the US Postal Service I know those people work hard, but I kind of wanted my package. Not that my package is so important uh, that I was like, oh shit, I spent a lot of money on that and I fucking needed that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I just fucking mail ordered hair products because that's neither here or there. The point being, after figuring this out and then trying to get a hold of the fucking post office today via a automated system... I immediately, after going through that sh shabacle, or shebang, or whatever, um, I can't, I'm so, I can't even talk at this point. But after going through that bullshit uh, that I will speak about in one second, I eventually had to call Amazon support. And I actually talked to a human, by golly. And they gave me a refund, and then I ordered a new thing, and then hopefully it's not going to be sent to the Amazon locker because I'm not going to have the issue with the postal service. Hopefully. So we'll see if I actually do get the shampoo and conditioner that I want through Amazon.com. Oh, the joys of the times. So let's talk about these automated phone systems. Not the first, probably not the last that I will ever uh, use an automated phone system, but oh my god, I'm so fucking sick of them. Okay, so let me just get on my soapbox for a second here. So I call a number, 
and after a long and arduous message about when and when they won't be open for the holidays, which I understand, uh, you finally have to put in press numbers. What I don't fucking get is how you press numbers. You get you pretty much give your fucking life story in numbers, passwords, or numbers or passwords, uh, and then you get to the next menu per se, and then you gotta press more fucking numbers to give more fucking numbers and passwords of your life story. To then, when you finally fucking talk to a human, the human, what is the first question the human on the other line says? What are your fucking life story and numbers? Oh my god, I'm so so fucking sick. Okay, so why would you, okay, so first you go, you have to press this, so it's like press this number, and then it's press this number if the first choice was not the choice that you won, and then the third choice is to press this choice because the first two choices were not the choice you wanted. And then the fourth one is to press this one because the f- first three choices were like that. And it goes on and on and on. And then at some point you're like, what choice was it is? And then the last choice is to start this whole fucking menu over. And you're like, oh my God, I just spent 15 minutes trying to figure out what the fuck I want to do with my life um, because I'm just trying to fucking talk to somebody. And then you think that if you talk, if you press, uh, you do the, the life hack of pressing the fucking uh, zero or a star or a fucking pound sign that you'll actually bypass all the fucking menus to get to a person. And thus, holy shit. And then the worst part about it is that's not even... And then obviously the redundancy of what I said before is that you get to the fucking human and the human's like, what is your life story and numbers and passwords? And you're like... I just fucking did that after going through six menus and finally giving up and fucking talking to you by pressing zero 20,000 times. Now, when you... Sometimes that works. Sometimes pressing zero will just take you back to the fucking main menu or it will completely end the call. And then you got to start this whole arduous process all over again. So the moral to this soapbox, and the reason I had to get on it, is because when people complain about customer service it isn't necessarily the people that are actually on the other end that when you actually talk to a human um yes there's language and cultural barriers that may or may not be a hindrance but if you let that bother you and you don't figure out that you need to uh try to communicate as respectful as you can then you're just a fucking horrible person but the point I'm trying to get at is there's no fucking customer service in talking to a fucking robot or a fucking computer when shit. Like, you're so exhausted by the time you talk to a fucking human, then of course things may go wrong in the terms of customer service. In terms of the other, line, the other person on the... It's all social interactive cues that make it. So, to end this soapbox... Please, how I know we are eventually either going to be taken over by robots and computers or become one of the, ourselves through chips being planted into our heads via science fiction novels and uh, movies. Well, really, entertainment. But please, these fucking automated systems don't help when you're trying to solve your own fucking problem by calling the number for which there shouldn't have been a problem in the first place. And with that note, I'm out.